Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I deal with my hyperpigmentation or melasma, mask of pregnancy, whatever you want to call it, during pregnancy. I am currently a little over 38 weeks pregnant, so I am very pregnant and I've been dealing with these annoying dark patches throughout the whole summer into the fall now and of course it doesn't help with the sun now even when i'm not pregnant i do have a tendency to get darker patches especially if i'm in the sun too much if i'm not using my spf if i'm not wearing a hat and a lot of that just has to do with your genetics so i wanted to share with you all of my tips and tricks on how i've dealt with and covered the hyperpigmentation throughout my pregnancy i've made a couple other videos specifically dealing with full coverage products. I will link them down below if you wanted to check them out. So I'm gonna share with you two different makeup routines that I do. One is more of a full coverage and the other one is more of like a medium coverage. But then I just build it up with a fuller coverage concealer. So let's get started. So I just zoomed you in a little bit so you can see what's going on. A lot of my hyperpigmentation and melasma comes on this side and over here like kind of in this region and then I have some other just scattered problem areas and I find that it's always worse if you're pregnant during the summer months so a lot of the damage was already done like along with just the hormones. I feel like I did the sunscreen, I did everything that I could but unfortunately it's just there and you just have to deal with it. So the three sunscreens that I like to use on a daily basis are either the Australian Gold, this is the botanical one, um, I really like this for the summer. And then I also have the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. This one is good because it's very like drying. So underneath your foundation, it's not like super greasy or anything like that. And it just has a very lightweight feeling on your skin. Like you don't feel that like sunscreen gook. And this one is 100 plus. It is also water resistant. So this one's also really good. And then if I want something like more moisturizing or glowy, I like the Paula's Choice one. This one is 30 SPF. So I will link all these below, but I pretty much switch off between all three of these. So this is the first thing I do before I put any of my makeup on and I start to cover all of the problem areas. So today I'm gonna go in with the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. And I'm just gonna go in with like a quarter sized amount and just rub that into my skin. And I'm just gonna give it like 30 seconds to just dry down. So that's the first thing that I do as like a defense and then I always try to wear like a hat or something like that, especially if I'm gonna be outside for a while. But I mean, with pregnancy and melasma and hyperpigmentation, from everything I've read, it's really just due to your genetics and to hormones. So during this time, it kind of, it is what it is. And whenever you're feeling a little insecure about it, you can just use makeup. So there's a couple of different tricks that I do before I even put any foundation on, or if I want to use like a lighter weight or medium coverage foundation, I always go in with the cover stick first. This is by Maybelline. And I just go right ahead and I apply it directly to the darker spots and the problem areas. And I put a generous amount on. This stuff is super creamy and super blendable. And you can always add more later if you want more coverage. So then I take a small buffer brush. This little guy is the Morphe M173. And it's like a little mini foundation brush. And I just push that into my skin and just blend it all in. Kind of just like tap it, almost like massaging motions and then like stippling motions. Just because I really want to get really good coverage on that area. So some people, they get the melasma like over the lip. So you would just apply it over the lip or wherever you get it. And just really get in there and blend it. And this just helps to kind of put down that initial base. I've tried other color correctors like the peach toned ones. And I just find that the cover stick or just using a really thick, creamy, full coverage concealer under foundation works better for me. So as you can see, it's definitely like lighter and more covered in my cheek region. And now I move on to the foundation. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways that I do this and a couple different foundation options so that this will work with whatever you have on hand. So if you have a really good full coverage concealer, this will work. If you have just a really good full coverage foundation, that will work. And then if you want to combine both, that will work too. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways of how I apply my makeup to get that full coverage. So the first way I'm going to show you is 
doing this technique and then using a maximum cover foundation. This one is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've talked about this a bunch of times. I have a video dedicated to it. I will put up above in the cards and then you can find the link down below as well. This is full coverage. This is as full coverage as is gonna get. This stuff is awesome, but it does dry down really fast, so you have to work with it fast. This is more for like, I feel, special event, but if you want that full coverage and you just wanna cover it all every day, then you do you and you go in with this because this is gonna do it. So I'm gonna show you how this performs. And I just put some on the back of my hand like this. I am in the shade Creamy Tan in case you are wondering. And then I just like to use a foundation brush. Just dab it in there. It dries really quick, so you gotta move quick. And I just press it into my skin. You don't wanna really blend, blend like that. You kinda just wanna get it on there, press it in, and as you can see, it is full coverage. And then just kinda dab it in, blend it into your neck. And I like to just do stippling motions and push it into my skin. I've used a makeup sponge to apply this. I'm just able to do it faster with the brush, but if you're quick with the sponge, Definitely, you know, give that a try too and see which one is better for you as far as giving you the coverage that you're desiring. But I personally just like to use the brush. And I will say this foundation is definitely going to dry down darker. So that's something to bear in mind. Now it is matte. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like flat, flat matte, but it's definitely matte. You could always add in some foundation drops or some um, that Urban Decay Drop Shot oil is really good or maybe even mix in a more satin finish foundation if you wanted to give your skin a little bit more luminosity. So on the left side of my face, I'm going to use a drugstore option for a very full coverage foundation. And that is going to be the L'Oreal Total Cover. This is the Infallible. They are both long wearing. I would say that the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover is a little bit more long wearing and a little bit more full coverage. You'll be able to kind of see the comparison. The shade range on the Estee Lauder Double Wear is definitely a little bit better. They did add some lighter shades, which is good because I felt like all of their shades were, I think this was one of the fairest shades and that's just not gonna work if you have a lighter skin tone than me. But the L'Oreal Total Cover is a really, really good drugstore option, full coverage foundation. And I wanted to give you two options because the Estee Lauder I think is like 49, I'll put it on the screen and then the Infallible is more like $10. So you'll have good options at both price points. Now I'm gonna do the same technique, just shake it up and apply some directly onto my hand. Sometimes I just apply it directly onto the brush. I'm gonna give you a close up and this is the shade 305 and I'm just gonna show you, it is very moussey and thick where the other one is kind of more creamy, but they do both feel like very lightweight on the skin. So that's all that's important. So I'm just gonna apply what's left on my finger there onto my skin. And then I'm gonna go back in with another foundation brush, same type of a brush, and just work that in. And I'm doing the same technique with just pressing it into the skin and just kind of stippling. It gives it more of like a very natural can't see any lines. Sometimes if you go like this with the foundation brush, you're gonna see all types of streaking. And again, I'm just kind of blending it into my neck and down the hairline. Okay, so here are both products on my face. Again, the right side is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and the left side is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. I think that they both cover super well, and this is all before I'm doing any concealer and powder and all of that. I will show you how my face looks like fully done. But I just wanted to give you how the product performs first so that you can kind of see firsthand. So I'm gonna start doing the rest of my makeup, concealer, powder, uh, bronzer, blush, so you can see how everything comes together using these specific products.
completed look with using the very full coverage and using that cover stick first. Now, as you saw, I just did like all of my face products. I didn't do anything on the eyes yet. I just wanted to kind of show you how the face makeup sits on that and how that looks as far as full coverage. Now, I did add the highlighter in just to kind of give my face a little bit more luminosity. And then I used some setting spray to kind of just help break down that powder so that it doesn't look super matte. Now we're gonna do the second look where I just use a foundation, just like a medium coverage foundation. And then I just use a spot concealing technique on top of the foundation so you can see how that covers. So we're gonna start on my typical second makeup routine that I do. I already have my SPF on. So what I typically do is just use a regular foundation. So this can be like anything you have on hand. So for me, it's typically this L'Oreal Infallible. This is a 24 hour fresh wear. I really like the shade. It is a little light for me right now. So I have been making it work and mixing it with the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir and Buff Beige. So these two mixed together are like perfect medium coverage foundations that give my skin a very satin-like and healthy appearance. And if I don't use these and I wanna do something quick, I will go in with the Makeup Forever. This is the HD foundation stick. This stuff is really good. You literally just swipe it on your face and you're done in like two seconds. I think today we're gonna to do liquid foundation. So what I'm gonna do is take a couple pumps of the Healthy Elixir and the Buff Beige onto my foundation brush and then just do like one pump of this lighter L'Oreal shade. This is in 405. This is like more so my shade in the winter. And I'm just gonna start applying all over my face. And as you can see, this one is definitely more sheer in comparison to the L'Oreal Infallible and the Estee Lauder. So I'm just buffing that into my skin and you'll definitely be able to see all of the darker spots peeking through. This might be really nice if you don't want something that's super full coverage, like if you're okay with showing some of those spots and imperfections, then you can just do a little spot concealing, like I'm gonna show you exactly how I do in a minute, and then you're good to go. So you should be able to see that this definitely provides some coverage, but you can definitely see the darker areas peeking through. So here's where I like to go in with some full coverage concealer. I personally love the Tarte Shape Tape for this, but Makeup Revolution makes a really good drugstore creamy concealer that I like for this as well. I don't like it as much for under the eyes. I find that it does crease a little bit on me, more than something like the Age Rewind does, but the Tarte Shape Tape is really, really good overall. It works really good under the under eyes, and it also works really good on covering up any darker spots. So I am just taking the shade Light Medium, and I'm just applying that to the spots that give me a hard time. And I'm applying a generous amount. Now I like to take like a setting spray. Um, this is the Milani Make It Last. You can use whatever you have. If you have the MAC Prep and Prime, that works really good too. And I just like to dampen. And this is the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And I just like it to be a little bit damp. And then I just do a patting motion and just kind of press that concealer into my skin. And for me, typically it only takes like one layer and I'm happy with the coverage. Now this look is just a little bit more natural, more kind of peeks through on the rest of your face and not all of your problem areas. This is more of like my everyday go-to. I'll just use like a regular foundation and then I'll just use some concealer on those really dark patches that are peeking through and it works perfect. I'm gonna quickly go through on camera and apply the rest of my makeup. And I'll list all the products that I'm using on my face if you wanna check them out. But I'm gonna kind of speed through this part and then we can get to the end where I show you the final look and you can see kind of like the before.
ends with just a little extra concealer. I think that it came out really nice. I'm happy with the amount of coverage that I have. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. Definitely comment down below, leave me any questions. Let me know what your favorite products are for dealing with your melasma and your hyperpigmentation, especially during pregnancy, since there's a lot of products specifically in a skincare routine that we cannot use during this time. And I will see you.